Hi there. Tonight, I want to talk to you a little bit about SSH. Specifically, I want to talk about SSH agent and uh, SSH key management. It's uh, something that's been relatively recent that I've adopted what I'd say are good practices. Um, and I'm guessing like a lot of you, I was kind of putting it off uh, for a later time when I would take it seriously. I was fun. I was just using one key for a lot of things, or one machine key to access multiple servers. And uh, well, I learned it's not the right thing to do. Um, so I want to talk to you a little bit about that and show you my personal solution. Talk a little bit about the options available and you know what you can do to roll your own or or you know find something that works for you. So. Um, we're going to spend a little time in the terminal today, but first let's jump over and talk a little bit about SSH agent. So, single sign-on using SSH, right. Well, I guess, yeah. SSH agent is a helper program that keeps track of users' identity keys and their passphrases. Right? Cool. Ultimately, what we're talking about here is when you want to SSH into box number one, you might have an SSH key that's valid for that. But when you connect to box number two, you might have a different SSH key that's valid for that one. If you have many, many, many systems, managing those and keeping track of them can be tricky. Um, SSH agent allows you to kind of add keys that are active at any given time into this agent queue. And whenever you go to SSH to a server, it will try to identify with all of them, anything that's active at the time. So, you know, adding SSH keys to the agent is discussed here. This is the SSH.com uh, documentation, by the way. You can just do SSH add dash L, and then that'll list you the private keys that are currently available. Um, and then there's some other commands to actually add them. You know, it's basically SSH add for pretty much all of it. Um, there's some advanced features you can do. You can make sure it's running in your profile or a session. Honestly, though, I haven't ever had to do this. Uh, it might just be that I'm running Ubuntu on most of my environments, and uh, SSH agent is just always available. Uh, you might have to do some extra work in some places, but I've never had to actually do any of this. What, uh, what I do need to think about, though, is, you know, what am I adding into SSH, into SSH agent? Um, how long is it there? Because once you add it, it's, it's basically running, right? But you can specify the maximum number of seconds that it's stored in SSH agent, and then it'll automatically, you know, remove itself. Um, so if you're going to just log into a machine for the next hour, you can, you can tell it the certain number of seconds to log in. And then, you know, over time, if you forgot to remove it or clear SSH agent out, no big deal. Those keys have, have pulled themselves back out. So this is pretty cool on its own, and you can start using it right away. It's probably already on your system if you are using SSH. It's, it's built in right there to whatever else gets installed when SSH gets installed. Uh, what I ran into quickly that was a problem, though, was, was the key phrases or the, the passwords on my keys. You are putting passwords on your keys, right? Right? Yeah. So I wanted some way to have a unique password on each key and also manage all of those keys uh, so that they I would have at most one key per service. So per server that I was connecting to. <sighs> Tricky, right? Well, I personally use LastPass. You might notice it up here in the corner. <coughs> mm. I use LastPass. Uh, I'm not going to get into a, the, the whys of that in this video, but uh, I like having a password manager. Some people are big on KeyPass or 1Password, or, or they uh, have some sort of script that they run on, uh, on the terminal for themselves. Whatever it is, you know, having a password manager, very helpful. Um, it also enables me to do something fancy with my SSH agent, and that is based on this little script that I wrote here. So this is on GitHub, in my GitHub, and it's called LSSH, which is short for LastPass, SSH Agent Helper. Um, so I've got all the documentation here 
that you can go and read on the readme it has a man page if you do install it um you could just read the source though it's just it's a uh, shell script in uh just born shell uh so it should run anywhere <coughs> and its dependency is that you have the LastPass CLI installed because this is a LastPass helper and also that you have a, uh, a program called expect which is used to uh, to fire off a command when something happens I guess when you know when you expect this message to show up in standard in then do X um, and so what I do with this is I will uh, tell LSSH that uh let's see here i will tell lssh that i want to use a certain key for a certain service so in this case i'm going to connect to the cosmic voyage server so cosmic voyage now in my lssh oops in my lssh um program or script here what that's going to do is it's going to look up in my key locations, it's going to look for a folder called cosmic.voyage or a key that starts with cosmic.voyage and it is one of the valid key types. So uh, by default, the key location is set at your home directory then .ssh and the key types are the uh, ed25519 uh, or DSA or RSA. Uh, these are configurable and there's documentation on how to change it. Um, it's going to look in that location for a key. If it finds it, then it's going to do the cool part. It's going to log into LastPass. It's going to check to see if there is a LastPass password saved with that name. And, and I actually have this optional prefix pattern here. It's going to look to see if there is a LastPass entry that starts with SSH in all caps colon and then whatever the name is that I gave it. So in, in my last pass, it would be SSH colon cosmic.voyage. If it finds that, it's going to take that password from LastPass. It's going to try to activate that key in that key location using that password. It's going to put it all into SSH agent. And by default, it's going to set a one hour timeout. So when I come back over here, I pop over here, LSSH cosmic voyage. Oh, it, it found the key. Let me try to remember how to type my master password in here. And then it is successfully logged in and that is added. And now that I have that, I can SSH in. Because it's all loaded into Cosmic Vo or into uh, SSH agent. And that's it. Um, that's my solution that allows me to have individual passwords, have individual keys, and kind of manage everything. Uh, I hope it's a good inspiration for you. I don't know that it's the right solve for you, um, but that that is kind of where I ended up. Um, there's a lot of op options on how to do proper SSH key management. I recommend reading about it, and then after you've read about it and think you know it, then go read um, Michael W. Lucas's book, SSH Mastery this covers everything and and this was actually the uh the impetus for the whole program that i wrote uh by the time i finished this book i had been properly shamed for what i was doing and how i was treating my keys so read this let it sink in i'm sure i'm gonna have to read it again at some point because it gets uh it gets very advanced at parts that you know it talks about things you can do that i would have never imagined um but uh, but Michael Lucas knows what he's doing. So read this, read this. Don't use this, but be inspired by it. Try to try to use more keys. Put passwords on your keys, and um, you know what? Uh, get get your keys out of RSA if you haven't done that yet either. You know, move it up. Do uh, do one of the two, uh, Ed two five five one nines. You know, come into the twenty first century. All right. Take care.